Basketball is everything in our family. My dad obviously played basketball, had um, you know 13 successful seasons in the NBA. My sister played basketball, was a really great player for four years at University of Dayton. My brother played basketball four years at Wyoming and is still playing in the NBA. So basketball really to me is everything. Everybody that I look up to and everybody that I've wanted to be like as a kid have played basketball for as long as I can remember. Casey is born in 1990, Larry 93, and Pete was 2000. From day one, he had a basketball in his hand. And I think of all of us, I think Pete has more skill. My other two go kill me for saying that, but <laughs> but as far as as far as skill game of doing everything, I think Pete is the golden child in this Nance family. As far as I'm concerned, if we all were the same age, I could beat them all. He talks about how great of a player he was and how he'd kill me if he were my age. I don't think it's true. I mean, he talks a lot. He has a lot of things to say about, you know, whether who's gonna win one-on-one -on -one or whatever, but I think I'd come out on top for sure. I can't wait to Larry see this because I know he definitely thinks he's the best. There definitely is immediate expectations of you when you have two as successful of players like my dad and my brother. I have to follow in their footsteps, which sometimes can be a blessing, sometimes can be a curse, because people have these automated expectations of you and, and how you should be and how successful you should be, and even how you should play. He was really successful on all levels. In the AAU level, he was successful. In high school, he was successful. When Larry and Casey would come home, they would beat the crap out of him, and that makes them better. He never act like it was a lot of pressure because of the Nance name or anything, because he was succeeding in everything he was doing. Everybody in the gym always looks at me as, if I'm not as good as my dad or my brother was, then I'm a failure. I'm not them, and I'm just running my own race. This is the flash of talent that they expected or we hope to see out of Pete Nance when he said he was coming here. Some talent that reminds you of Larry Nance and Larry Nance Jr. Your whole life, no matter what you do, you know, it's always Pete Nance, comma, son of Larry Nance, brother of Larry Jr. You know, it's the same way I had to growing up. And, and I think you kind of always get a little edge from that. You love who your dad is, you love who your brother is, but you want so badly to create your own identity. I lived it and, you know, I think we kind of were able to bond over that. There's a lot of pressures and a lot of things that a lot of people wouldn't understand that come with having an NBA dad like that. He had to deal with a lot of the same pressures and knew a lot of the way I was thinking. Freshman year was rough. It's a kind of a learning experience coming from high school. The game is a lot faster. You're playing against much older players. There's just a lot to learn. Early on in my sophomore year, I was putting a lot of blame on everybody else, anybody, anybody I could find, my teammates, the coaches, and really, when I started to think about it and started to talk to people about it, I found out that it was really all my fault and I wasn't giving myself the right opportunities to be successful because I wasn't in the gym. Foul on Northwestern. They're gonna get Pete Nance and they will. Frustrating sophomore season for Nance. There was a lot of frustration during that year and there was a lot of pressure on him and I understood that. I felt like I wasn't getting to him the way I should be able to, and, and that was frustrating. I remember having a conversation with Coach Collins. We kind of just told each other everything that had happened. Looking back on it, I was probably a really hard player to coach um, because I just didn't think anything was my fault. I could do no wrong, even though I was the one that was playing bad. I think it was a real moment of truth, so to speak, you know, in the relationship. And what's great about it was, our loyalty to him, his loyalty to us. We just said, we're gonna figure this out. 
We need to get the best out of you. I think he knew it the whole time, but I think it took him a little bit to realize that he needed to look inside. Once he kind of admitted that to himself, he really just took off. Nance. Turnaround jumper using the glass. What a tough move. Pete Nance going to work. That Michigan State game was definitely a big one for me. He was fantastic. He was running the floor. He was driving the ball. He was making threes. He got some dunks. He was passing. I remember watching saying, man, this is the guy that we envisioned that he could be. I ended up having a really good game, and it was honestly rewarding for me because you know how hard you worked all summer. It made me want to work harder because I knew what that feeling of success tasted like. Can't stop it. Pete Nance is playing the best basketball of his career. I think he just set the standard for what it's like to persevere, what it's like to find yourself in college. I think that's how he should be remembered for someone who just went through it all and found a way to get through it. Pete Nance, he's my best friend. Since the day we started college together, he's been my best friend. And every day since after that, over four years now. You sound like you like each other? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. The moment we met, he was just instantly my best friend. We'd be having pointless conversations for hours upon hours of just nothing. Some of our teammates would come in the room and be like, what are you guys even talking about? If you ask anybody on the team, especially you, what two fruits I eat the most of out of anybody in the whole entire world? This guy puts down watermelon and pineapple like there's nobody's job. <laughs> Miller and Pete, those two are weird. <laughs> because they, they can have a whole conversation without saying anything from just looking at each other. The times when Pete was struggling, Miller was there, and I'm not sure Pete ever had a true friend like Miller here before then. Being able to be on the court and share those moments and share that success, share those failures, being able to have somebody to come back and talk to that you feel like sees the game the same way you do, it helps a lot. When I was thinking about transferring, the one thing that he really told me is that, do what you want, I just want you to be happy. And, you know, when, it, when I heard that, it was just, it was, it was big, you know, because I don't want to, like, I didn't want to leave him and, 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 you know, feel like I was betraying him. Getting set for the Wildcats and the Hoosiers here at Wells Ryan Arena tonight. He just made clear to me, is it, you just wanted me, me to be happy. And so that was big to hear. It's going to be interesting because he's been on your team the past three years and you don't really know what it feels like to go against that person. But, you know, it's going to be a lot of fun. Former Wildcat Miller Cobb, who transferred after last season to Indiana. He will start tonight for the Hoosiers against his old teammates. Galloway at the top, looks for Cobb, catch and shoot three, and it's good. Miller Cobb, a three-pointer. Made a lot of those when he was playing in purple. Nance started with the left shoulder, tries with the right shoulder, turns, jump, hook, throw. Down pass to Nance beyond the three-point line, thought about it. Drives in, jump hook good against Jackson Davis. Pete Nance has two shots here. Trying to extend this 4-4 Northwestern lead with 2.36 left. He makes a vote. How about this? The Northwestern Wildcats make it three in a row. Try to ice it. Didn't work. BJ, give me that up. Yeah, you ran into a brick wall. No, I yeah. stopped. I took one dribble. And you know why they didn't freaking throw it back to you, right? Because they saw it and wanted it. I wanted it bad, though.